Well, good Friday morning, everybody. Hi, it's Bill Kincaid. I'm here with at or the Telegraph with our favorite meteorologist, Mr. Al Caprillion. And Al's all excited this morning. Patriots are playing. Chance to go to the Super Bowl. You look highly energized to fill us in about what's going to be happening with the weather this weekend. Well, Phil, there's one thing I'm a little worried about. I'm not a negative person, but yeah, good morning, Phil and everyone. I wish you they were in Foxborough. I feel a little more at ease, you know, but home court can make a difference. But we'll see. But, you know, so Denver can get overconfident. Never be overconfident. They we're never overconfident with the weather either. We'll tell you what we know today. There is a dense fog advisory this morning till 9 o'clock. That includes Hillsborough County down through Lowell, Metro Western Massachusetts, Boston, Cape Cod. The fog has been thick overnight, and they extended it till 9 a.m. up in the Hillsborough County. Be careful. There may be a few patchy areas of black ice this morning. Be careful. The sun's going to come out today, mixing with clouds. We should get to 40 to 45 degrees this afternoon, filling everyone the last day in the 40s for a while. Tonight, mostly cloudy, mid to upper 20s. Any melting today would ice up again to, uh, tonight. So watch out if you're going out early tomorrow morning. Uh, watch out for some patchy black ice. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy. A strong upper-level shortwave disturbance will bring rain and snow showers. Now, in the afternoon, we could get a burst of uh, snow showers in southern New Hampshire because the shortwave is strong. and We may get a burst of heavy snow showers. Briefly, there may be some accumulation, especially in the hilly terrain of Western Hills, and Cheshire County. So that's something to think about. But it's going to be a progressive upper-level disturbance. It's going to be gone so it uh, looks like by tomorrow evening and Saturday night, it'll be long gone. Highs on Saturday in the upper 30s. Sunday, we could have a snow shower. We'll have lots of clouds, a few breaks of sun, low 30s, 30 to 35 degrees on Sunday. Uh, there could be a snow shower. There's a, a Alberta clipper it moves across Canada, may throw a snow shower in here before the day is over. And then Phil will talk Monday morning. There's going to be some Arctic air moving towards Quebec and Ontario. That may get here late next week. Will it? We'll talk about that Monday morning. Is that polar vortex heads towards Quebec from the polar regions. Remember, it gave us very cold weather. It went back to the pole, the North Pole. Now it's heading south again. There's also a coastal storm to watch for middle of next week. At this time, uh, the storm track's trending south. We may miss that storm late Tuesday and Wednesday, but we'll have a big update on that Monday morning. And how cold the Arctic air, how cold it's going to be for temperatures next Wednesday and Thursday. Because there's some brutally cold air coming down from that with that vortex into Quebec. And it may be moving towards us. Well, I have a confession to make, Al. I, I took a sneak peek at the long-range forecast. And, and it does look like we're going to be heading back into those single digits at night. That's so right. And I want to say one thing, Phil, for all of you. And I know some of you are the Telegraph that work. Uh, management owners and uh, the staff if you have children students parents watching me stay off the lakes and ponds this weekend if you want your child wants to go skating they say mom they get up tomorrow morning we want to go skate public find your public indoor rink because this january thought i'm has really softened up the ice on the ponds and lakes we can prevent accidents just go to a find a, a rink even if you have to drive a little bit public indoor rink where you know it's safe until that arctic air if it how maybe by late next week and we'll have skating again outside but the ice is softened just be careful of that everyone okay al that's good advice thank you very much now just try and stay calm i know okay. it's, a it's an exciting up. game it exciting. should be around 60 there in denver that's not going to help it's not going to be real uh, cold out there either all right so do all your superstitions whatever you need to do okay. and uh, we'll, we wish the patriots good luck and we'll talk to you on monday and we'll talk about the game too early have a good weekend phil